What I've decided to do is install a power inverter into my travel trailer. What a power inverter does is it converts your battery voltage to that's 12 volts into 110 power. So my idea is to install this power inverter. I've done a little bit of research on, on YouTube and got some ideas from other folks on there. And what I've boiled down to is I'm going to install this power inverter inside the camper. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do one battery or two or one big one. I think it's probably gonna be just starting with one lithium battery. That's gonna allow me to run some things in my travel trailer that, you know, I, that way I don't need to power up my, my generator. I wanna keep it separate from the power bank or the battery bank that's for the, the rest of the trailer. I'm gonna leave that alone, have it continue to power everything in the trailer. I'm not gonna change any of the wiring or put in a new converter. I'm gonna leave the existing converter in there and I'm going to add a new inverter battery that's special for the inverter that's gonna be lithium. The current battery I've got on the travel trailer is a lead acid, flooded lead acid battery. Uh, and I will continue to go with that so that, you know, if I wanna run my 110 outlets and things, I can have that going and not have to worry about running the, the battery down on the, the travel trailer for the rest of the items, the lighting and all that. So let me show you the inverter I got. I did get this inverter off of uh, eBay. It's uh, a 3500 watt pure sine wave inverter. It runs on 12 volts and uh, the output is between 100 and 120, so it probably puts out about 110, which is what you need. Uh, it's called a PGI NVER. PGI NVER is made in China. It has C E R O H S F C C here has connections on the end of it here where you can hardwire in your outlet or you can use your 110 outlets over here it's got a switch and it also has it's kind of dark it's got a usb connection on the opposite end it has the 12 volt connections and it's got a couple of fans it came with this little set of cables uh, it looks pretty decent but i'm going to have to have some more and it came with this uh, remote controller here that you can control it outside you don't have to use a switch and it has a charging wire for the remote control and some extra uh, fuses so that's what came with it uh, I, again I, I have a, a flooded acid battery here that I, I think it's bad and uh, I tested it and it's low on voltage it's either completely drained or it's gone bad on me. I'm going to have to charge it and give it a try. So that's what I've got so far. I've also purchased this breaker. And let me go in and show you what the plan is inside. All right, so I've already got it ready here to show you. Uh, the control panel inside here, the breaker box, has a, a 30 amp main here. And then when the cover's on there, you can see what everything is, the main, the AC, GFI, microwave, uh, general power, and water heater. And then on the right there are all the 12 volt fuses for that runs everything for the 12 volt. And the plan is to remove this converter from this breaker. So this, this converter is running off of the breaker that is for the 110 outlets here in the in the travel trailer. It's on double, so it's got two wires going into this breaker. And what I want to be able to do is turn that breaker off to the converter, uh, charger converter, while I'm using the inverter. And I don't want to be charging my, my battery, my other lead acid battery, off of my uh, inverter. So I'm just gonna turn that off. Or if I wanted to do it, I guess I could leave it on, but it would run the battery down probably pretty quickly. And so this thing has got, you know, you got your 12 volt coming in here from your battery on the front of the tongue of the trailer. And you've got your neutrals up here. This 12 volt here is coming from the converter and it charges the, the battery and it runs all the things when your battery is dead or missing. So my plan is to put a couple switches in and be able to switch over to my lithium battery if I want to. If I need to use my lithium battery for, for the, to power the trailer, I will be able to do that. I will not use the 
the converter to charge my lithium batteries because you have to have a special charger for your lithium batteries. This, this box here, I've got it loose. So my idea was to put everything inside of this container here that's below the television. It's kind of hard to get back there because I've got the slides slid in and it's in the storage here and I can't move it out. But uh, I, I wanted to look back here and see if there's any room inside this cabinet because there's no doors on it to see. And so what I've done is I've taken it loose, taken this loose to look in there. I am going to pull this out, all right, so so you can see back there, there is some room in here that I can use. So there's plenty of room back in there where I can put my lithium battery and I should be able to mount the inverter in there somewhere, somehow, and install a battery in there or two. There's probably enough room for a couple of them. There is a pipe that goes down in the floor there that I should be able to work around, but I should be able to get a couple of batteries in there. I think I'm just going to start with one lithium battery because they're so expensive and just see if that's going to be enough. And then uh, once I get that all in mounted in there, my idea is of course to uh, install this breaker here in here and then put the inverter onto, well not the inverter, I'm sorry, the converter onto this 15 amp pole here so that I can turn the converter on and off using this breaker separately and ha that way the, the 15 amp that runs the outlets will, will still be active. And then the 20 amp, I'm going to run off the back of this and there's room right back here that I can mount an outlet. And the plan is to run a 20 amp wire to a, a regular amp outlet here. That's going to be a 20 amp outlet. And then the inverter, I'm going to put another outlet that's right next to it. And the inverter will have a red outlet. And what I will do is when the inverter is on and running, I will turn off the converter switch over here. And I will turn off the water heater and anything I don't want to work. I'll turn those off. I'll turn off the main just to make sure. I will do a jumper from one 20 amp outlet to the other 20 amp outlet. And that will back feed into this uh, breaker box. And it will power up all of my, my items here. And then the other thing I found that I can do is there's enough room actually to put a whole nother... Uh, another double so I think I'll put this one here and then I will get another one and put it here and uh, that way it fills in the hole and I will be able to use on the on the third breaker I will be able to use that on the new charger that I'm going to have to install for the lithium battery so the lithium battery will have its own charger and I will run it off of this breaker and be able to turn that charger on and off using this. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I still have some, some things to buy, but I think the idea is gonna be pretty good because it looks like there's plenty of room back there. And so what I think I'm gonna do is, you know, take that panel over there in the corner, probably cut that panel off and work through there leave this panel here on and be, use it to mount my outlets in and switches and things because there's plenty of room back here to do that amongst these wires. I'll be able to put any additional switches or anything like that in there on this side and I can use this panel to, to support those. And then the other side, that'll be how I'll access it. I'll, I'll take that and cut that off and then I'll make a door that I can open right there and be able to access my battery and my inverter through the door. That, that should be perfect. And then that way I'll have a separate uh, inverter, separate battery. It'll all be right here so I can tap into it and put in all the necessary switches and fuses and stuff like that that I'm going to have to have. So I'll end this video at this point here and next time you see me, 
you know, after I get some stuff installed so you can see how it's going and see what I end up doing. So thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. I hope this helps you out. So here I am. I'm ready to start working on installing my power inverter. But I want to show you all the stuff I end up getting primarily off of Amazon. All right. So I end up getting this Wise LifePo 4 uh, 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour battery, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle. Now I may end up buying another one of these batteries, uh, depending on how long this one might last for my my general usage and if I have room for another one. If I have a new room for another one, I probably will buy another one. Uh, of course, here's the inverter, and here's all the rest of the stuff I end up getting for this project. End up getting this uh, Victron. Um, charger, Bluetooth charger. I'm going to install this and make it kind of semi-permanent, but uh, I'm going to be able to use this to charge my uh, lithium battery, and I'm going to be able to use it to charge my uh, lead-acid battery. That This is the one that has has the, uh, the three terminals down there that you can do, three outputs, and it's a 30 amp inverter, and you can use it as a power supply too, so that's why I got it. This is the uh, 20 amp plug I end up getting. It's gonna come out of the inverter to this plug. And I wanted a red one so that I can easily identify, hey, this is uh, the, the inverter one. I end up getting two sets of breakers. Uh, end up getting 400 amp fuses. Came with these little, these little fittings here that I thought, well, okay, I'm gonna get those because it just comes with them. I may not use them, but 400 amp and then also I got the holders for it. It, just, it came with a package, you know, it was a package deal. You get two of them and you get these with it for a low price. I'll have to put a link to all this stuff I got from Amazon. Uh, I ended up getting this shunt. It's a Victron shunt. I got to go with the Victron charger because this is a Bluetooth shunt. You can uh, hook up to your phone with it and you, that's how you actually do everything. You, you read everything off your phone. So this, uh, I, I did all the research and this 500 amp shunt from Victron is a very good one. And it should tell me everything I need to know about my battery. Ended up getting this breaker for my 12 volt stuff. I'm going to put the charger on this breaker. I'm also going to uh, put the, the lithium battery on a breaker so that I can use it for the travel trailer if my lead acid battery goes down and I have my lithium battery, I'll be able to switch over to the lithium battery. And then finally, I got this uh, switch that's gonna be able to turn my battery on and off. And I will be, uh, the, the lead acid battery is also on a switch. Basically, you just unplug it. And uh, if you don't wanna have your lead acid battery uh, hooked up, I can just go outside and I can unplug that. Now, I plan on putting it inside of here. Try and fit all of this stuff into the bottom of that panel there. So, let's, uh, next time I, I come on, I, I, I may have a lot of this already done and just explain to you what I ended up doing. So, thanks for watching uh, part two, and we'll see what part three leads to as I start working on it. Thank <laughs> you.